Hello folks, Minito here, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dump your copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You'll be needing Atmosphere Custom Firmware before doing this. If you don't have that, you can follow my tutorial in the description. Dumping Smash is incredibly useful if you're wanting to create your own mods, or if you want a reference for the folder structure of mods if you're having trouble when downloading some. This will only dump your data.arc file, which contains all of the game's assets. This will not dump a full copy of the game for use on Yuzu or other play methods. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to stay notified of future videos. You can also join my community Discord server if you need any extra help or want to game with me and other members of the community. With that out of the way, let's begin. The first tutorial link in the description will take you to GitHub download page for Ultimate Mod Manager. Download ultimatemodmanager.nro and move it to the Switch folder on your SD card. And now we're done with moving files to the SD card, so you can go ahead and launch Atmosphere Custom Firmware. Launch Smash while holding the R button, and this will open up the Homebrew menu. Navigate to Ultimate Mod Manager and press A. You'll see this screen with text. If your SD card is FAT32, press A. If it's XFAT, press Y. My SD card is FAT32, so I'll press A. For me, the dumping process took around 10 minutes, as you can see here. So once it's finished, press B, exit the software, and turn the switch off. Put the SD card into your computer, go to Atmosphere, Contents, and go to this folder. Open the ROMFS folder, and if you have a FAT32 SD card, you will see a data.arc folder. If you're using an XFAT SD card, you'll have a data.arc file. Move that file to your desktop and skip to this timestamp to continue. For those using FAT32, there's one more step we need to do. Open Command Prompt inside of the ROM FS folder, and paste this command. I'll leave it in the description for easy copying and pasting. And press Enter. For Linux and Mac OS users, open the terminal window in the ROMFS folder and run this other command instead. The reason for doing this is that it will merge the files inside the data.arc folder into one file. The file needed to be split since we're using a FAT32 SD card. This process can take a while to complete. It took about 20 minutes for me. In the meantime, do not remove your Switch SD card or close the command prompt window or put the computer to sleep. Just leave it as is. Now that it's done, delete data.arc from your SD card. Move data.arc that you just merged to a place you'll remember. And let's move on to the next step. The next tutorial link will take you to Arc Cross. ArcCross allows us to open our data.arc file and explore its contents. Download arccross.zip. Open it and extract it. Drag your data.arc file to your crossarc folder to keep everything in one place. Open crossarc. Click update hashes. And click yes. It only takes a second to update. Once it's done, click File, Open Arc, and open your data.arc file. On the right you'll see a language option. You can choose to dump assets from specific languages or from all languages. For example, you can take Roy's Japanese voice, dump it, and use it in the English version of the game. Open Root, and now you'll see all these folders. Let's dump something simple to test this out. Click UI and right-click Message. Click Extract Files. The time it takes to dump something really depends on if you're dumping a file or a large folder. And in your CrossArc folder, you should now have a root folder. This will mimic the layout scene in CrossArc. Go to UI and Message. You'll see a plus US underscore EN at the end of my files. That's because I dumped them in American English language. If you dump a file in a specific language and want it to work in the language you play, you can erase the plus along with the language part as I'm showing here. 
As I previously mentioned, I'll clarify how dumping the game can serve as a reference for installing mods. The proper structure for mods is ultimate, and inside of their mods folder, and inside of that folder, you place your mod folders. Each mod folder in ultimate mods acts the same as the root folder in cross arc. To make sure your mods load correctly, whatever goes in the root folder goes into your mod folder. I hope that makes sense for those that may have been confused. If you're a little confused, you can go ahead and rewatch this part, and I hope it helps. That is going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. Shout out to my channel members, Burbcoon, Eiella, Captain Rex, and Odyssey Ethan. Thank you for your support. And thank you to you for your support in watching my content. On the left you'll see my Switch modding tutorial playlist, and on the right you'll see a video that YouTube recommends for you. Drop a comment if you have any questions, or just to say what you thought about the video. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya!